Do you feel like your mind is not on your side? Do you feel like you're fighting your own thoughts or just getting in your own way a lot? Well, in that case, we wanna reset your mind. We wanna wipe out all the stuff that's going on in there that isn't helpful and get you to a place where you're feeling good and can move forward towards your goals and do what you actually want to do. First of all, take a deep breath. Whenever we get caught up in our heads, we really forget about our body, right? We're so stuck in thought that we don't move, we get very stagnant and we stifle ourselves in even more. The more you let your mind take over and run the show, the less power you have. Your ego starts to control you and before you know it, you just feel like absolute garbage. And the worse you feel, the more you start thinking negatively and the more you get stuck in your head, weighing up different options, overthinking a decision, whatever it might be for you, we don't want to continue that behavior. So we have to apply a pattern interrupt. We have to do something that shakes us out of the pattern that we're currently in. A personal example of that is when I got stuck thinking too much about which decision to make in my business, like what person to hire for a certain job or whether or not I should use a certain style in my marketing, instead of weighing it up more and instead of continuing to try to figure it out, I would just do something completely different. For example, just go for a walk for no reason and just forget about the outcome and the result and how much pressure or how important it might be. Or I might do something like remind myself that I'm going to die and I would get up and walk around and just think about the fact that one day I'll be dead. And that might sound crazy or extreme, but it's really, really effective, right? Instead of me getting stuck in that downwards loop and wasting my time and wasting my energy, I would snap myself out by making a drastically different move in a completely different direction. You see, if you wanna reset your mind, you can't give in to its old patterns and continue to operate on the same wavelength. You have to make a choice and a decision to change. Not just say to yourself that, oh, this sucks and this is bad and I don't wanna feel like this and I don't wanna think like this. Because the more you focus on the problem, the bigger it expands. I'm sure you've had that moment in the shower at some point where you just had a breakthrough and a brilliant idea seemingly come to you out of nowhere. Well, it wasn't out of nowhere. It came from you. You probably already have all the solutions that you need and everything that you need in your toolbox, in the back of your head. You probably learned most of what you need to learn. And if you're lacking knowledge, that will become apparent to you too. You'll find out pretty quickly that, hey, I just don't know enough here. But looping and overthinking, it doesn't have any use whatsoever. So, like I said, do the pattern interrupt shake things up and then create opportunity for stillness. So that you can really visualize what I mean here, I just want you to think about doing some crazy sport or a really, really fun sport or any physical activity that you really, really enjoy. For me, it would be cross-country skiing. It's really my favorite right now. You see, if I had been in my head before, after cross-country skiing, my mind is completely cleared out and completely different to what it was coming into it. And what that gives me is an opportunity to pause and really enjoy the stillness of my mind. And if you wanna recreate that instantly, doing you know 100 jumping jacks or something really physically taxing that will get your blood flowing can basically replicate that same effect. Once you've done that, all you gotta do is sit still for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and the thoughts that are going to come up will be completely different. Also, if your mind is trapping you or working against you, what you really want to do is not feed into the pattern and you don't wanna play the games that your mind is trying to get you to play. You know those ones where you find one example of something that you did one time and blow it way out of proportion and make it seem like you're a bad person or you're bad at a certain thing? Just drop it all and allow yourself to be free of your old identity, of your old beliefs, of everything that has happened in the past and actually just enjoy this very moment because this very moment is beautiful and you don't have to fix anything. You don't have to be anyone. You don't have to do anything to be complete. Right now, in this moment, you are breathing and you can choose to enjoy that. You can choose to really take that in or you can keep fighting and struggling and being in pain. You are creating the very resistance that you're living through. The pain that's showing up is really a choice because you are basically perpetuating the suffering by holding the thought 
that creates it in the first place. Now, the first time that I really realized that, not just heard it, but actually realized it and let it land, it shattered my whole reality. You know, I realized that, wait, I'm doing all of this to myself. It's not the world. It's not what's happening out there. That's tough because you got to take it in. And now it's your responsibility to not continue really to discontinue that old pattern and that old behavior and that old thought loop and those old beliefs, it's not serving you anymore. Look, you've outgrown it, you're past it. Your mindset from before doesn't need to come with you to the future. Remember, what got you to where you are now will not get you to where you want to go. You have to change. And in order to change, we have to shred everything that was there before. Now, maybe there are certain parts that are useful, but if your mind is blocking you a lot, sometimes the best thing to do is just to let go of everything. When I started my business back in 2014, I couldn't come in thinking, oh, well, I only get paid $15 an hour because I was a janitor, right? If I hold that belief, if I believe that to be true, I could never make multiple six figures doing something that I was passionate about. There's no way. I wouldn't be able to help my clients the way that I have over the past six, seven years. And I wouldn't be able to really let myself thrive. And that's the key here. You gotta let yourself thrive. You have to reset your mind by really accepting what you've been through, who you've been in the past and putting it to rest and deciding who do I want to be now? Really, I want you to install a new operating system, one that's healthier, that's happier, that's stronger, that is capable of taking you to where you're going next. Go, let go, let go, and everything will be okay. I know it's hard because it's tempting to hold on to it. Your ego is tied up in it. You really believe that that's who you are, but it doesn't have to be that way. And remember, if you want some help rewiring your mind, rebuilding your beliefs, really designing and becoming your ideal self, achieving all of your goals, go to eraphael.com and sign up for a free call with me. We'll talk, we'll see how I'm able to help you take that next step and go to that next level in your life. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one.